Hey everybody, day 11. Uh, today was the first day I was out of the classroom of the school year. Um, typically end up being out of the classroom a lot. Uh, I don't like to be, but when you have a lot of other um, roles and things that you're trying to get accomplished in the district, sometimes it's out. So I think my maximum one year is I hit like 32 days out of 180 out of the classroom. So this will be a good way also with these videos to track how many of those days there were. Um, but today was a worthwhile cause. So uh, today we ha I had a release day to be able to work on a class I teach called Race in the United States. Um, Bellevue High School along with Interlake High School and Newport High School are offering Race in the U.S. Um, as a college in the high school class. So we're working with Bellevue College that, and students can elect to uh, get college credit for this and it fulfills graduation requirements at UW and other Washington State schools. Um, and so it's a really amazing course. So we, we started uh, planning for this about two and a half years ago where we really started to sit down and think about, okay, how can we make a class, um, you know, centered around racial identity and exploring how race impacts people differently and how historically it was constructed, uh, you know, because race is, race is not biological, race is a social construct, but even though it, race isn't real in that way, it doesn't, it, there's no, you know, real biological races, it has extremely real impacts on people uh, who experience life based on how people perceive their race. And so we started looking at a class, whether we, you know, do, should we do like a black history class or something else? And we ended up settling um, in partnership with Bellevue College on race in the U.S. So it's kind of a soci sociological class. Um, and really, uh, we got to teach it for the first time last year. So I taught it here in the spring, and then my colleague at Interlake taught it over there. And so we just have that one semester under our belt. But it was an extremely powerful experience to be having conversations with students. A lot of times, people are really uncomfortable talking about race. And adults are really, really uncomfortable talking about race. Part of that is because we spent a lifetime being trained and taught that colorblindness is the way to go and that you shouldn't see race or you shouldn't talk about race. And so now when you try to get people to actually engage and talk about race, there's a lot of discomfort that comes up for them. But what I've found is that students are ready and willing to talk about race because it's their lived experience. Um, we have an educator force in the United States that is predominantly white, over 80%. And yet, uh, increasingly diverse student body, and they're living every single day with the realities of race, and so, you know, it's it's crucial for this, and that is why I'm trying to work with Bellevue School District to create ethnic studies as a graduation requirement. Um, there's been some great work done in Seattle to try to lay the groundwork for that over there, uh, and down in Portland and in Philadelphia and a couple other places. And so uh, it is my goal that by the end of the year, we will have a plan with the approved by the school board to start moving towards that direction of building the classes and the capacity to have ethnic studies as a graduation requirement. Students need to see themselves in the curriculum. They need to feel valued in the curriculum. And honestly, every Every single person benefits from getting these multiple perspectives and learning more about how their identity impacts them, especially the history in the United States as well as moving forward. We cannot tear down systems of oppression unless we know how they were built and how they're maintained. So I'm excited to continue working on this course, probably be talking a lot more about it throughout the year. I don't teach it this year until second semester, uh, but we're always in the planning phases and refining that course. So. Stay tuned. It's, it's going to be another fantastic year talking and digging into and having these courageous conversations about race. So we'll see you then. Have a good weekend.